Hello everybody. Um, right then, I'm back in my workshop this morning. I think my last video I showed you me making these clack valves for my boiler. I'm carrying on with my fittings now for the boiler and I've decided to come in this morning and make a start on my two safety valves. Um, right, so here's the drawing for the safety valves. And I don't think I'm going to show you me actually turning it because it's not. I'm not doing a, a turning exercise as such. I'm just explaining what the fittings are that I'm making and how I'm doing them and and where they fit, etc., etc. So I've decided to to make these two safety valves my next my next little job. Uh, I think reason for that is my springs just come from China. It's a stainless steel. 304 stainless spring which I shall be using to put in the valve that sits on the stainless steel ball quarter inch ball so I've got me I've got my components there ready so I thought I'd make a start on these so it's really it's just it, this it's a body with a spindle in the middle and a ball a ball underneath it and the spring sits around the spindle and then there's a cap fit screws into the top to adjust your your tension on your spring to give you your working pressure there's a thread on this end that fits into the boiler and then there's an internal thread at that end that that cap that adjusting cap fits into um i think i shall make the centre bit out of stainless, I haven't, I haven't decided yet, stainless or bronze anyway um, so yeah so that's what I'm going to do next uh, I've got my clack valves fitted, I'll just zoom into them and show you if you didn't see my other video they fit inside at boiler here at, at a 15 degree angle so I've got them fitted and how I'm making these is a bit bit of a long-winded job really I'm uh, I'm utilizing some phosphor bronze and I've shown you this in my last video I think I'm a, a glutton for punishment doing this but I'm cutting segments of this uh, phosphor bronze tubing that I had um, so I'm cutting segments then I'm cutting them segments into two and then I'm putting them in my lathe and machining them down into round bars to utilise this phosphor bronze and it's saving me in. I'm going to move over now to my Myford lathe and, uh, and do this valve. So I'll probably do another clip at a later stage when, I've, when I'm so far through this and uh, we'll do an update. Right then, uh, I've been over in my Myford lathe and I've managed to complete both my safety valves now uh, they're in front of your ear, there's two of them and uh, they fit in the boiler in these two points here um, they've made them out of phosphor bronze the bodies anyway and I've made the, spin, the spindle that goes down the middle uh, that's out of stainless, the spring's out of stainless and the quarter quarter inch balls out of stainless. So I'll just show you a close up of actual parts. That's the main body. It's 26 TPI to fit in boiler. And again, that's half inch and 7 sixteenths by 26 for the cap in the top. So that's the body. I've milled an hexagon on it uh, and I've bored it to the depth, to the required depth for the ball. So that's the body. This is the, the um, oh, what's this called? I'll just call it the spindle that fits in, in the body and there's a cup in the end of that spindle where the ball sits and it's a quarter inch ball 
and that just pops into that recess and the size from the edge of the ball to the front of the uh, spindle is 90 thousandths and then the spring fits onto this like so I may have to just adjust the length of this spring to get me correct PSI then that fits into the body like so and then I've made this cap out of bronze and drilled the um, the holes in for the steam to release let me just get my hand around that a bit better and there's a little spigot on this for the spring to sit on like so so that goes down the centre of that centre spindle and screws into the end I've got to make a tool to do this I can't quite grip it with my fingers but anyway you get the idea and that's going to screw down now to give me correct PSI on me on me really for the releasing of the ball for the steam so I've got the other one done identical to this and these just sitting top of the boiler like so and I think my pressure which it's got to release at is 80 psi so that just wants to be set at 80 psi, PSI now um, so that's another little job done now on my boiler, that's another couple of fittings done. I've already ready done my tight valves. Um, I shall now move on to either blow down valve, manifold, um, what else is the water gauge um, tubes to fit in. And, and all housings for them so uh, I don't know which I'm going to do next uh, probably when I wake up in the morning I'll decide so I'll catch you on my next video then so that's safety valves completed now so anyway thanks for watching and if you've not seen me my other parts to this boiler you can see um, I think I've done a 12 part series me actually making the boiler from scratch uh, and I'm only a beginner at this so you might find that interesting I've already done a video of these clack valves so now I'll move on to the next fitting and probably show you that as and when I come to it so anyway uh, thanks for watching and uh, I'll catch you on my next video bye for now then